So it's zero out this morning and we have wind chills so I don't even think I'm going to ski today. Um, I'm just going to work on my prop and I've got the whole house to myself. I wanted to show you the haul that I made for Christmas from my family and friends. I had an awesome Christmas. Check this all out. Pine cone spiders. I'm using my new camera my husband got me with the tripod. Um, this little wool mat is all hand stitched. Isn't that sweet? Oh yes, this brought me to tears. Monster of the Month Club from my kids. Can't wait to get that first package. That's right up my alley. And this little pouch is another all hand stitched cutie. Okay everyone, I thought I would start with the paper mache pumpkin. Um, I, this is one of 11 that I made from September to November after watching the J-Wall Twisted Seed videos. Uh, I was inspired by the picture and decided to make a pumpkin similar to the one in the picture that you saw and try and make a prop out of it and see how that works out. Uh, I didn't do a tutorial on the dry brushing or the making of. There are plenty of tutorials out there. J. Wall does an excellent job and uh, I didn't do a tutorial on the dry brushing because it it would be so long to do it takes about three days to do it so I thought I would share the colors that I used in the order that I used them in uh, the last process before the dry brushing is the driveway sealer and filler which is black so that was my base coat and then I did burnt umber dry brush burnt umber over the whole thing the stem and everything then I went to burnt sienna, just to the pumpkin. And then from there, I just, I, I went from dark to light in the oranges. So from burnt sienna, I went to jack-o'-lantern orange and just concentrated on the segments. And went from jack-o'-lantern orange to like an apricot and then a cardium yellow. Um, making sure, even if I had to go back with the burnt umber, that the grooves, the deep grooves, were dark and I painted dark around the eyes, nose, and mouth too. And the green was just like avocados and that it was the same concept as starting out with your black base coat, the, the first uh, burnt umber. And then from there I went to like plantation pine a darker green all the way up to the lighter greens. Well, yeah, these are these are the brushes that I used.
Here we are, making progress. This is what we started with, a little PVC end cap. Screwed in right into the shoe. The wind base from Home Depot painted with black exterior paint. And then I did the decorative wood finish and sprayed it with the wind wax polyurethane. What's I gessoed them and then I base coated them with black and then I dry brushed them with rain gray and then I dry brushed them with Italian sage and now I've got uh, ocean blue blue jay I'm gonna paint the nails black and finish with a little dusting of white and we should have some creepy little child's hands. I ended up making them myself because where are you going to find them? That was my only thing in this whole prop that I was lacking was hands. And so these are definitely not, um, you know, like accurate, but Halloween is so forgiving that um, the little little bit that's, that's off with it makes them look, I think, even creepier. Just gonna like hit the centers. Okay, hands are on. Just wanted to show you. Happy New Year. This is our end of the year clearance sale <laughs> <laughs> video. <laughs> Everything must go. This is it. Here we are with the dogs. It's New Year's Eve. New Year's and Eve. And we're celebrating because we just finished the first prop of the year and we're excited uh, for the year to come and the plans we have. Looking forward to scaring more people. Yeah. and meeting more people. That's a nice thing about it, is you meet people. Yeah. And, you know, some more uh, interesting props that you gotta kind of battle through to figure out how it's gonna work. And Yeah, we, like we learned now, I don't think we've ever done a prop in the winter where we dealt with um, p cold PVC and yes, cold glue. Cold glue. So we learned our lesson there. We had to redo our first frame on this prop, but ended up doing it inside and it worked just fine. So yes, those of you in warmer climates have nothing to worry about. Yes, more power to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous this right now because it's below zero. So oh yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's major, frigid, wind chills all day. and Majorly cold, so. Yeah. So but. anyway, this is our evening, just sitting, relaxing. Yeah, you know, just giving everybody With a quick hello. Yes. We're. It's been a great year, and. Yes, 2015 should be super. Yeah. So. Right. As how's it go? Keep haunting or what? Yeah, stay scary. You know, keep haunting. Yeah. You know. Well, whatever. All that good stuff. Yeah. So. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.